tarot friends, this is Ultra Violet and Morgan with another unboxing. And today we're going to unbox the Gay Tarot. I received this second hand. And it is in order. I have looked at it a little bit because the little guy sort of dumped it out all over the floor. My little white book's a little smushed. Uh, so I had to kind of do my best to put it back in order um, using the, tr basically trying to use the top numbers and not look at the cards too much. But like I said, okay, they don't want to come out of the box. So, I mean, you know, I guess it's not too much different than maybe, um, seeing some pictures online because I didn't give them a good look or anything so they come in this tuck box I kind of hate tuck boxes but it's decent the art on the box pretty much matches the art on the cards it says gay tarot on one side and tarot gay on the other because I think this is Spanish maybe and, of course, the little white book is, this is a little scarabo, so you've got about, you know, six pages maybe, if that. And then you've got several other languages. So, yeah. Oh, 13. 13 pages. And I did look at some of this, so there's a self-image spread, which I found to be really kind of interesting. And it says, um, there, let me see. So you shuffle the cards, woo, lay out three cards in a row. The fourth card you choose yourself from the deck later. So you get your past self image, your uh, present self image, and effects on others. And then you look through and actually pick out a card that will show the Im self image you choose for yourself. I think that's pretty neat. So. And then, of course, it moves on to the other languages. A little bit about the author. <clears throat> Lee Burson has been studying the tarot for 25 years. He's written over 70 in-depth tarot deck reviews and served as a co-moderator of the tarot deck section on Eclectic Tarot Forum. That's pretty cool. It's available for professional and email readings at eclectic.net slash tarot. Antonella Platano, a talented young artist from Italy. Huh. She illustrated the witchy tarot for Los Scarabo and lent her considerable ability to the gay tarot with great energy and attention. Um, and there's the picture on the front. And I'm actually, I might actually refer to that book a little bit. So now we'll get into the cards themselves. I do wish I had better lighting, but I'm doing the best I can right now. So here's your zero card, the fool. And when I, I did see this earlier and I thought, um, you know, here's this man. He's out. He's, he's young. He's hitchhiking. He's on the road. He's got his dog. And there's some other little symbols, like butterfly. Um, so I thought, okay, well, maybe he has been kind of thrown out because he admitted he was gay and so now he's got to go out into the world and find himself kind of make his own way he may have not have been accepted um that was kind of my guess and then I did see in the book it said accepting and exploring one's sexual identity is is a journey of self-discovery so it doesn't specifically say that but it is about accepting and exploring your own sexual identity. Um, and then it says, Beginning a new and exciting venture. Going beyond the limits of so social convention and nonconformist. That's pretty good. Um, I like... When you look at the... That's, that's it. That's all that you get for the fool. And that's enough. I mean, it's not my first rodeo or tarot deck. Um, the first sentences in... Um, uh, italics or the beginning that kind of seems more to relate specifically 
to the gay aspect of the tarot, uh, life as a gay man, and then beneath that in the regular print, more um, focuses on a more general meaning, I suppose. So here's the backs of the cards, it's pretty cool. They are reversible. I love this sort of liquid pool that they disappear into and I love the moons. Kind of reminds me of an Oscar Academy Award or a genie. Do you think it's really just supposed to be a man? So good card stock. They smell wonderful also. Here is the magician. Gorge. So he is a showman. He is in purple and he is um, on stage and he's all in lights and he's here to perform and what just popped into my head but um, Adam Lambert singing um, I'm here for your entertainment <laughs> I do love me some Adam Lambert um, the book says to live fully one must create a life not merely react to it awesome creativity ability making something happen so that's a really amazing message actually number two the intuitive so this one has been changed from the high priestess to the intuitive since high priestess is obviously a woman and this is a gay male deck the intuitive to be true to oneself one must know oneself looking within for answers mediation intuition exploring that which is normally hidden and already, second card, and I just feel like this is a really good deck. Like, it's not just a good deck for gay men, it's a good deck. Now, if you are a gay man, I'm sure it's... If you identify with this specific deck, then oh, so much the better. Or if you not identify with it, connect with it. Because <laughs> um, just because someone is a gay man doesn't mean, oh, gay deck... I like it, you know. Um, but it does have some good strong messages for that for gay men and in my opinion for anyone. So all of my rambling now we're finally on to card three. So card three instead of So what is it? The high priestess and then the high priest? Now, why can't I remember the order of my tarot cards? <laughs> Silly me. Uh, because these are quite different, so... Um, I can't think if... I don't think it's the high priest. I think it would be the empress. Right, number three is empress. All right, empress is now the protector. So the protector, looking at it, it's very cute, it's very joyful. Look at the sun and the happy little girl. And probably her father, uncle, or whoever. Nurturing others is good practice for nurturing oneself. Parental insti instincts, maintaining a home or a positive environment, bringing a project to fruition. That could be a big brother, too, because, I don't know, he doesn't seem that old. But in any way, in any event, he's the protect protector. Um, and I, I like that. Nurturing others is a good practice for nurturing oneself. The Emperor. El Emperor. Ooh. Okay. He is definitely the man behind the curtain, isn't he? The producer, the manipulator of events. Pulls the strings. He's the shot caller. Sometimes one must be a benevolent despo. Really? That's the meaning of the Emperor card? Okay. Organization taking charge. An authority figure. Right? Utilizing discipline to provide a structure for creativity. All right. And then we have the priest. 
Oh, and he's marrying the two men. The best way to help others is to help them make their own decisions. Wisdom, advice, a promise, a ceremony, or a ritual. Mm. Right? Those are good uh, meanings. Oh, the lovers. I love that. I, I love that black and white and then the sun and the moon. The stars and the clouds. So that's the sun, that's the moon. And the touching of the face is very tender. A relationship is always a mingling of differences. A powerful relationship, seeing both sides of an issue, flexibility. And I feel like, you know, these are new meanings. But they don't contradict the old meanings. But they do give a lot of new meaning, in my opinion. Um, the chariot. <laughs> That's a modern chariot. I mean, it is a modern deck. So we have this man on a skateboard being pulled forward by dogs. His hat's flying off. Papers are flying everywhere. There's two dogs, just like on the chariot. So, uh, Among the highs and lows of life, make sure you enjoy the highs. On, top, on the top of one's game, seizing an opportunity, having everything under control, but barely. <laughs> It's not exactly what I would consider as the meaning for the chariot, but like I said, I do like um, sort of new meanings, new takes. You know, they're worth considering for a minute anyway. Justice. Oh, wow. That, that feels like a harsh card. Uh, even today, gays can be the victims of justice. An unfair judgment, being too judgmental or righteous, feeling restricted by others' expectations. That's a very good meaning for the card. But there is hope coming in through the window. Rays of light. They're reaching out to each other. And there's the Statue of Justice casting its long shadow. The Hermit. Interesting. <laughs> He's out in outer space. All alone. This just made me think of the Big Bang Theory, like that would like that's Sheldon, maybe. <laughs> to fully understand something, sometimes you must escape it. Oh, wow. Gaining perspective, solitude, and study. Oh, I love this. This is called the Wheel of Life instead of the Wheel of Fortune. And they all have their hands in there like we're in this together. And yeah, that's nice. If life on the rim makes you dizzy, move to the center. Awareness of the... Move to the center. Okay, right? Awareness of the cycles of life, equanimity, a change in fortunes, guidance from your future or past self. Oh, yeah. You can kind of see different ages. Guidance from your future or past self. I've never thought of that as a meaning for the Wheel, wheel of Fortune. But it's that's interesting. Ooh, gorgeous. Strength. Of course, strength is usually a woman with a lion or sometimes a tiger. Um, but I originally actually was a man to in some of the oldest decks. So this is like, a, again, a performance that's... Uh, it makes me think of uh, like Siegfried and Roy... Right? I've got a hoop to jump through. Flaming hoop. Uh, strength. Directing your passions rather than suppressing them is the key. Finding healthy outlets for powerful energies. Okay, right? Next. The hanged man. Oh, I love this. This might be my favorite hanged man ever to be seriously like to be honest um the picture is just beautiful the symmetry the line um I love to swim and so here we have this man who's just diving into the water 
Um, it's it's um, a unique take to have him be upside down, but not be um, actually tied or hanging. Um, but he's still upside down, so... The book says, living in the moment, being fully absorbed in the present. Non-attachment to goals, seeing things from a new angle. Excellent. I feel like this whole deck, this is this is the deck. This card represents the deck to me because this is whole deck is kind of a different angle to look at the tarot. Death. Oh, that's very, oh. That is really sad. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's sad. Oh. I'm going to start singing rent songs. <clears throat> Death. My throat's sore, so I guess I won't sing. You're saved. Endings are beginnings. A phase of life is over. Allowing time to mourn. A part of yourself has outlived its usefulness. Hmm. I like that part of allowing time to mourn. Don't usually, we don't often see the death card as being about mourning and about like a reaction to death as, you know, others of death around us, of death as a part of life. Um, that we all have to, not only do we all die eventually ourselves someday, sorry to break it to you, if you didn't know that, but, um, you know, we lose people along the way. And I've never actually seen a card really take that that angle on it so that's kind of interesting that's a really good um, yeah it's a good take on that I can <laughs> I can really see using this card for a lot of or this deck for a lot of personal work and maybe you wouldn't think uh, ultraviolet Morgan uh, go-to deck for personal work would be the gay tarot, but, I mean, it's really, I really like the, just the perspective of this deck. I really like it. Temperance. Okay, now we have a chef in the kitchen. Makes a lot of sense. Definitely fits. Uh, temperance. Mix things up a little. <laughs> oh, see, this deck has such a good sense of humor. Combining separate elements to create something new. Moderation, not too much of each flavor. Flexibility. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this deck is great. I feel like this deck and the housewife deck would are just like the right kind of uh, sense of humor. To I feel like um, decks with a good sense of humor really help you learn too, you know? And we go from, you know, the really sad, realistic death card to the temperance card with its sense of humor to another very serious card, self-hatred. So the self-hatred has replaced the devil. Very um, apropos, very clever. Um, the trap to avoid for all minorities, self-hatred. Unconsciously accepting societal norms and low self-esteem. Yes, you know, this This would be really good for personal work. Revelation. Revelation. Well, it is usually best to tell the truth about yourself to those who are close to you. Oh, okay, this would be the tower. Oh, yeah. All right, that makes sense. It can be a painful experience, a necessary destruction of the status quo, having to tell someone an unwelcome truth, a new idea which upsets others. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's incredible. Straight up, incredible. Yeah, look, at he's telling his parents. They don't look very happy. The dad's having a hard time. Accepting the truth. The star card. That's hot. Okay? I don't care who you are. The star. It's like a genie. It's like this 
buff genie coming out of the sky. The star. Spirit is real. Hope, serenity, clarity, having faith in an underlying and overlying over overlying spirit. A dream becomes real. Man, these these are great cards. <laughs> I mean, I knew I was going to like them and be interested in them, but they're really great. Um, the moon. It's, yeah, I'm just looking at it for a second. The gorgeous moon, the purple sky, you know, the couple in bed together under this gorgeous window that we all wish we had. And uh, the breeze is coming in and blowing the curtains. It's very... I love the moon card. So, the moon. Sexuality pulls us into a different non-rational world. Okay, true. Which is sometimes frightening, always creative. A sense of mystery, creative ideas which gestate in the subconscious. So, sexuality or sex. I don't know if I have any decks that have really explored um, sexuality or sex um, in relation to the moon card. I'm pretty sure, like, it's been in there somewhere as a keyword, but I don't think I've ever really seen it explored. So that's really, really good. Huh. The sun. Hmm. The sun, to me, it looks like... Like a son helping his dad. But I don't know. The sun. The best moments in life are rooted in the ordinary. Nice. Contentment, optimism, ordinariness, satisfaction with a job well done, familiarity. It's nice. I mean, honestly, I don't love... Most sun cards are really annoying and their meanings are sometimes annoying too. That's really nice. Viva la difference. <laughs> that's awesome so the card the judgment card has been replaced with beyond judgment the beyond judgment card fantastic self acceptance must come before liberation freedom from others expectations trying to make conditions better for others altruism pride self acceptance that is amazing I love it beyond judgment it's great in the world <laughs> yeah I like this guy he's He's cartoony, but he's cool, and he kind of looks like Hercules, like Kevin Sorbo. For you youngins who don't know who Kevin Sorbo is, Google it. Google it. The world. Life can be a heavy burden or a joyful one. It is mostly up to you. Transcend your circumstances by changing them or accepting what can't be changed. Awesome. So there's our major arcana these cards are really fantastic some of the pictures some of the images like could be taken as a little bit cheesy ace of cups but in a good way because mm, i love magic to tell you the truth and yeah some of them are a little cheesy and some of them are um really quite serious um, but, I mean, they're all very thought-provoking, which is exactly what I want. And it gives you a new perspective uh, without, like, just totally taking you into, it's you know, it's not a different system. It's not something you have to think about too hard. Um, it's just a little bit different way of looking at the cards um, than what we would be used to. So... I don't know. I feel like I'm at almost at 25 minutes. So, yeah. I guess I'm going to do a part two to do the minors. Um, so, uh, hey, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. And come back to watch the second one. And please, 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 please subscribe. Um, hit that subscribe button so that maybe I can reach... Uh, well, let's make 100 subscribers our goal uh, when we reach 100 subscribers I don't know what we'll do we'll have to come up with something um, fun uh, da, da, da. 
So this is ultraviolet. Oh, and comment. <laughs> Leave comments. I love comments. Communication and community. So, yeah. Um, until next time, ultraviolet. This is ultraviolet saying be well and we'll be back soon.